the monster did everything for her, prepared a cozy room, books, and clothes, and Belle admitted to the monster that although he looks ugly, he is very kind and noble. In the evenings, they sometimes discussed books, danced to pleasant music, ate fruit, and drank tea. It always seems to me, she said, that this is just a joke, and this is just a costume, she smiled, but the monster spun around and went into his room. Once, looking in a magic mirror, Belle saw that her father was sick, and she asked the monster to let her go home. The monster, sending her back to her father, gave her a magic ring with which she could return to him. But if she decided not to return, he would die of longing. Belle's father was so happy that she was all right. He perked right up, so she decided to stay longer.
But one night, when there was a rainstorm outside the window, she dreamt that the monster was dying without her. She woke up in a cold sweat, threw on a cloak, and rushed to the castle. The sun had just risen. Belle saw a dying monster in the grass that was wet from the rain. The girl hugged him tightly and asked him not to die. I love you and I want us always to be together. Tears rolled down her cheek. And as soon as Belle said these words, a miracle happened. The gloomy small castle turned into a bright, cozy villa. And instead of a monster, a beautiful young man lay in front of her. The magic spell subsided. The evil witch turned me into a monster a few years ago. Everyone turned away from me. I hid in this castle and lost hope. After all, only love could bewitch me. It works miracles. And only sincere love could restore my life and my body. Belle smiled and said, now the miracle will not leave you or me. We will always be together. And they gently hugged and went for a walk through the woods, dreaming of cozy evenings, not in a gloomy castle, but in a wonderful house. Their house. <laughs>